Hello, uh, welcome to, or welcome back to the Reimagine Waste to Art workshops. We're here at the Gang Gang Gallery in beautiful Lisco today for the workshop, and I'm meeting some wonderful locals, uh, very talented people. We've um, almost come to the end of the workshop today, so I'd like to take some time to actually have a yarn with the, the artists and um, yeah, ask them about your inspiration for the for your works. Now, this is Tim. Welcome, Tim. Lovely Thanks. to have you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for coming. No worries. Well, you know, as you know, um, we started off talking about fire recovery. This project coming out of um, a grant that was about bringing people back together, community back together after the fires, um, and. Obviously, you know, I've used my passion talking about waste and rubbish and it's something that uh, we can all recognise, we're all looking at nowadays a bit more, um, taking seriously. So we've used lots of um, bits of rubbish and waste and creating some beautiful pieces. Can I ask you about your inspiration and have, are you using any rubbish or waste or bits and pieces in your work? Yes. Um all these uh, bits and pieces here what, are waste, so they would have, I probably would have um, thrown them in the bin okay. um, or possibly burnt them. Mm -hmm. And what is uh, it, plywood? Yeah, this is plywood. Yeah. These are like, um, these are offcuts for the work I'm doing, which okay. is um, creating kind of like three dimensional layered pieces out of plywood, mm -hmm. yeah. which. Um, give, you know, three dimension yeah, and man. depth. Yeah, I've seen some of your work, incredible. It's very, it's very yeah. uh, exciting mm. to produce and, uh, but I'm, I don't know, I'm from this family that just like absolutely hates waste. My father was quite crazy about it. I don't, mm. I don't know, maybe it could be a Welsh thing or Irish thing, I don't know, mm. but um, yeah. That very, generation, we were talking about it before, weren't we? Sort of, you know, the old school kind of reusing soaps yeah. And, oh, yeah. and things like that. I can imagine that that's what, where that came from, you know. Exactly. Those and, um, yeah, just, you know, improvising, you know, yeah. like yeah. using whatever you could. And, mm. you know, that thing about going to country tips and, you know, yeah. all that was fantastic. Yeah, lots of stories about tip yeah. visits <laughs> amongst yeah. the group today. So, but, consequently, I've got this thing where, yeah, I find it, difficult just to throw things out because mm. I think, oh, well, that'll be useful one day. Yeah. This could be a problem. I hope my wife isn't watching. Cut, cut. Order. But no, uh, so essentially this, uh, this, the idea I had was um, about re not just regeneration of the landscape and things, mm. but kind of regeneration of your you know, your thinking and your psyche and, you know, what that is all made up of. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, this uh, this idea is uh, from a little quick sketch I did of a, kind of like a, uh, what would be this, a brain scan, like a cross-section yeah, cross cross section of, of the brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've kind of, like, found some shapes that, you know, uh, roughly make up that um, idea and then mm -hmm. I'm then pasting on all of my successful and unsuccessful yeah my successful and unsuccessful uh, cryptic crosswords that I've completed over the last few months which is just something I do every day and I think it's you know I think it is a kind of a regenerative thing as well that you're you know you're, you're forced to like think about things that you would never really think mm -hmm. about and yeah. and like quite often I'll write a little note you know a word that I've never heard about mm -hmm. so when I finish a crossword I'll give up mm. um, then I'll go off and you know do do some google on that word oh wow yeah so you, okay. it's kind of always you know it's kind of like expanding Refreshing, your knowledge rebooting and, yeah yeah and, um, yeah, I did a lot of it, you know, around the fire times and mm -hmm. afterwards. And, yeah, I think it was a really good thing to do, just sort of, 
not really worrying about other things, just like <clears throat> concentrating on words or ideas yeah. or whatever. So your, yeah, your art became important in those times and like what, through COVID as well? Yeah. You know, being sort of stuck at home and stuff, were you finding that you were becoming more creative and creating maybe even different work that, than you usually do? Were you sort of steered in another direction with your work or? Well, I was actually uh, lucky enough, because I, you know, I, I pref- try to run my art business sort of professionally, so to speak, mm-hmm. um, with, you know, accounts and, you know, ingoings and outgoings and invoices and all that sort of thing. So I am a business, mm-hmm. so I was I would get a grant for bushfire recovery. Right, yep. So yeah, I did actually buy some yeah really interesting tools and a lot of it was like equipment and tools, yeah. which I was interested in. You know, I'd been thinking about it for a long time, but never really had the money. So all of a sudden, I got the money, went out and got all this amazing gear and have been you know. Excellent. Working, beavering away on it ever since. Unreal. Yeah, mm. so mm. thank you to whoever thought about that great idea. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think, um, you know, these projects are important? Like, after what we've been through as a, you know, extended Blue Mountains community, this sort of coming together again um, in a creative space, do you think that's important? Is it something you as an artist would like to see more of or maybe you could see yourself facilitating something like this. Is that, do you feel, I know the fires are sort of a bit of a distant memory for some people, because then we've had COVID and we're sort of trying to move on and whatever. But do you think it's it's helpful and healing for for community? Yeah, I think it's a big, um, it's not, yeah, again, it's not just the physical damage, which is awful, Mm. but you know, the mental damage to people and, Mm. you know, trying to repair, you know, just, I, I think you know. There's been a lot of fear, fear going around, mm. and you know the, you know even you know you get onto a train, and you know I was on a train and the other day, and you know someone coughed, and it was like, oh, mm. I won't say what they said, but you know there was like, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this barriers to the community, mm. and uh, so yeah, I think it would be worthwhile thing getting some more. Yeah, um, more art. Yeah, more art and, projects. <laughs> and kind of, yeah. um, I don't know if it's like, not really. Uh, like, um, our president, Barbara, is a committed uh, Buddhist, and I've been this, I'm not very spiritually religious in that way, but just listening to her and um, some of the thoughts, I think, you know, they really do apply to this sort of thing that. It's not the end product, it's, you know, the journey. It's and the journey through the work. Yeah. yeah. And Beautiful. And you know, yeah. don't creating work that, you know, you like, time can just, yeah. you know, you think it's five minutes, it's yeah. 45 minutes. That's kind of how minute. it's gone today. Yeah, yeah quickly, exactly. That's yeah. how it's gone today. It's like, Beautiful. you know, mm. it's, it feels to a degree that, you know, we've only been here for half an hour. Mm. Mm. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you, yes. and thanks for being part of it. And My I, pleasure, Jeanette. I hope that you end up, yeah, I mean, however this yeah. evolves, it could even change from, because we know as artists that sometimes we have the, the idea, the concept, but then, it, yeah, it changes over time and, and we create something completely different. So thank you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, and you too, yeah, Jeanette. see you at the next workshop, hopefully. Brilliant. <laughs> thank see you. Ya. See ya. <laughs>